exactly can you work with a developer? Hey everybody, it's Christine Maggi. Thank you for checking out Design Gal. Today I wanna to talk about working with developers. Now when I talk about developers, I mean any kind of developer, whether it's front end, back end, web, mobile, software, you name it. Stereotypically, developers can be a little bit of a different breed than your average designer. For example, working in their caves late at night with no lights on. Definitely true of some developers I've met, but not all. Even though you may think designers and developers are drastically different, there is a way to work with them. If you're a designer in any interactive capacity, chances are you're going to be working with a developer at some point. It really helps to know how to work with them so your projects go smoothly. Now in some cases, you as a designer may make the design first and then hand it off to the developer, or in some cases you can be working together from the beginning to create the design. Either way, you're going to need to have a good relationship. Keep in mind that you both probably have the same goal of getting the project done and getting it done well, but you might have some different priorities. Designers typically care more about the look and feel and the user experience, while developers typically care more about how the project performs technically, making sure that it meets technical requirements, that the functionality performs as expected, and that everything is solid and as bug-free as possible. Of course, developers and designers want all of those things, but like I said, you probably have a different bias and a different perspective than each other. All of these things are important, so you have to learn how to work together. Now I'm gonna go over some things you can do as a designer to make that transition as smooth as possible. First of all, it really, really helps if you know how to code or at least know some basics. Knowing how your design is going to translate into code will help you make design decisions that are technically feasible in a way a developer can actually create. You can also use tools to assist with the designer developer handoff using things like Envision or Zeppelin. Both of those I've worked with and they're great. So your developer doesn't have to go in and open a design file. They can just pull up the specs right there using the tool. If you don't use a tool like this, it helps to spec out your work, like pulling out the hex codes of the color palette, making a style guide that shows the different typography styles, standards for spacing, styling, etc. Developers want to know exactly how you want it, so the more detail you can give them, the better. Don't make them guess, because chances are they'll guess something that you probably don't like. If you're handing off a design, make sure you stay in communication while the development is being completed. Check on the progress of the development regularly. Make sure it's on track and in line with the designs that you provided. They may ask you to change some things, so if something is not technically possible or doesn't fit into the requirements of the project, they might ask you to come up with a different solution that fits those requirements, and you'll have to come up with something new. If something in the design is not translating into code, talk to the developer about it, or make suggestions or corrections as needed. Make sure you give the final development build out a once over before it goes live, so you can make sure the design they built is as close as possible to the one that you originally gave them. Like I said, ideally you'd be doing this sort of throughout that development process, but definitely, definitely give it a once over to make sure there's nothing really wrong with it before it launches. The more developers can learn about design will help them, and the more designers can learn about development will help us to communicate and work together to have a successful project every single time. Learn what you can about development, so when problems come up, you can talk about it in a way that you're both gonna understand. I've worked with a lot of developers in my career and I can say that they really appreciate when you go the extra mile to give them detailed designs, clear instructions, and communicating throughout the whole process. They don't want to have to be guessing and making design decisions on the fly. So as much as you can provide all of those decisions up front for them, the easier their job's gonna be and the closer it'll be to your design vision. I know working with developers can seem intimidating, but I promise you they are nice people. You just need to learn how to communicate with them and do what you can to make their job easier. They will thank you and your project will thank you. And I thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.